Hey Capricorn Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel, welcome back. If you've been here before, thank you so much for joining me or joining me again. I hope you all are doing amazing. Let's pull some cards. What makes you so attractive? Why do people find you so attractive? What are they drawn to when it comes to you? What makes you appealing, sexy, charming, fine? We have, I'm the effing goddess of my body and I worship every inch of it. For some of you, you could be plus size. Okay, you really love yourself, flaws and all. You're unapologetic about a stretch mark, a fat roll, uh, whatever it might be. Anything that other pe people feel like is not attractive, you don't care. You love yourself as you are. We have have some grace. Grace is a sign of trust and a higher power. People also feel like you're very warm um, and accepting of other people and their differences as well. Some of you, your friend circle could consist of like people who are not readily accepted in society. Like you might have a lot of friends in the LGBTQ community. You're very open-minded. You might be friends with people with disabilities. You might be friends with people who don't fit the quote unquote normal label. And I do feel like you have this very empowering energy where you make other people feel empowered around you. Nice. You're a leader, of course. You're a cardinal sign. You're a trendsetter. You're a leader. You make the unpopular popular. <laughs> So we have, I'm a goddess and I radiate love and confidence from within, bow down world. So you radiate confidence from within. I feel that from here. Some of you are very centered, very balanced, very grounded, down to earth, relatable people. You're like a girl next door, guy next door, queen of pentacles energy. You are. And you also command a lot of respect and you don't have to ask for it. It's just something that you naturally command from people. You have a quiet confidence. Confidence is quiet, contrary to popular belief. Okay, let's see. So we have B-I-T-C-H, a woman who won't hang her head against a wall obsessing over someone else's opinion. Okay. So they see you as the queen bee. They feel like you do not need approval, validation, justification from anybody. You would do things on your own terms. You're a self-starter, I just heard. So even when people don't like you, they don't like the way you dress. They don't like the way you look. You're like, I don't care. I like it. And that's all that matters. <laughs> it's your confidence. And I feel like I'm talking to people, a lot of Capricorns who, again, don't fit the status quo of what maybe society says is the beauty standard or what society says is acceptable. Okay, we have stop pushing against what is, align with it, and move on. So the fact that you adapt to change very well. The fact that you have a go with the flow kind of attitude is being highlighted here. When things get difficult, when things become unpredictable, you have this way of just rolling with the punches. You work within the divine timeline of your life and you don't try to resist it. You're very at ease person. The magician. They feel like you're the kind of person that makes it. Like if you tell somebody I'm going to go after this goal, they know you're going to do it. They know you're going to crush it. They also feel like you have the gift of gab and you're very good at communication. Gemini and Virgo energy showing up here. They feel like you're a master manifester. They feel like you're very powerful, talented, creative, and confident. You have control over your emotions, your finances, your thoughts. Your passions, your goals, your aspirations, all of that. Will of fortune. Wow. Rolling with the punches. Going with the flow. Working within the divine timeline for yourself. Again. Do you feel like you put out a lot of good energy? A lot of good energy and it's always coming back to you. They see you as a person who has a lot of good luck. Because again, you feel very open-minded, warm. Inviting, accepting of people, even people with differences. Four of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. They feel like you are um, a person who does not try to instantly get what you want. You're willing to wait. This is delaying gratification. They also feel like you're very financially stable and very good at saving money. You're not frivolous with spending your money. 
So this is like if it's a partner, it's a partner that says, okay, I never have to worry about you breaking us, you know, putting us in the, in the poor house because you think before you spend your money. You're very conservative in your spending. You could be a conservative person altogether. We have the Six of Cups. People feel like you have a playful, childlike energy to yourself. No matter how old you get, you're still fine. You still hold on to your inner child. You have a very healed inner child as well. Five of Pentacles, Taurus energy. We got Scorpio here. So some of you are very generous. You don't mind giving people like a shirt off of your back. You have like an open door policy if you're in a position of authority, like a job where you are the boss or something like that. You have an open door policy. You do not mind helping anyone out. You're very charitable. You could be a person who really pays um, tithes, whether that be in church or the fact that you actually do pay it forward by helping out the less fortunate here. And then we have everything is fine. So you're an optimist. Even when life is throwing so many curveballs at you, when you got like a plot twist that you did not expect, somebody betrayed you, backstabbed you, you are still optimistic and you still persevere. You always look on the bright side of things. Nine of Cups and you are extremely hilarious. People find you funny. They think you are hilarious. You're the life of the party. You're a socialite. You are a master manifester for sure. Ace of Cups, you have a big heart. And you, again, you are a leader. You stand up for the people that you love and care about. You will go tooth and nail for them. You will literally give someone a shirt off of your back. Like, people really do see you as a very generous person. Especially if you have it to give. But even when you don't, like I said, you'll take the shirt off your back to help somebody out. Some of you could work with the homeless. Or you could volunteer your time for people less fortunate. Or you work with, like, um, disadvantaged people. You know, under, underserved people. Marginalized people. And you're the kind of person who, like, you like to save your money. Again, you're not frivolous with spending your money. They also see you as a very, like, people feel like, how did I ever get to meet Capricorn? I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed to have Capricorn in my life. Like, this is when someone feels lucky to have you in their life. They feel like they hit the jackpot. They can also feel like you are a very lucky person. You just have good karma because you put out good energy. So good energy is always coming back to you and people take notice of that. For sure. That is what I'm seeing for you. Um, I don't think there's anything else that I'm going to get. I think that's pretty much it, y'all. So I feel like. Um... Oh, you know what, y'all? I didn't read the back of this card. So back of this card says tech thanks. Appreciate technology for ability for its ability to connect us and make life more convenient. Some of you could do something online here where people admire you. You can have like some kind of yoga meditation thing that you do online. Or just the fact that you come across as very radiant online, your social media, or if you have a platform, a public platform. Somebody could be a comedian. And that is what I have for you. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I will see you all next time. Peace.